Hey guys, I have some new pencils that um, I got to try out today. They are called the So Color 160 Colored Pencils. Um, what's great about these, they were on sale, well, not on sale, they're regular price $23.99, but um, as soon as you put it in a cart, you get a five dollar coupon. So I paid nineteen dollars for hundred and sixty pencils. So with that being said, it, it comes in this little cover. Let me put that to the side. And it, and it looks like this. It comes in this little, like a little plastic briefcase looking container. You have five, one, two, yeah, five trays. They're pre sharpened. Um, let's grab a tray. I forgot where I heard about these. Somebody was saying, had anybody tried them? Blah, blah, blah. They were hearing great things about them. Of course, that piqued my interest, so I went and did some research. Okay, I got these in and I color swatched them. Oh, upside down. Color swatched them. Here we go. And I have to say, for such an inexpensive brand, um, a price tag for 160 colored pencils, I mean, I was impressed. I'm really, really impressed with these. They have an oily texture to them, so they go on very smooth. Um, you can see they're very, very vibrant. This stupid light over here is flashing me out. Lots of different variety of colors. Um, took me a while to swatch all of them. Let me get some more light. Get out of here. Okay. So yeah, I am really impressed by these. Um, it only comes with a number, and there's a different name on it. It doesn't say so color. It says, if you can see that, oh, I hate this stupid lighting during the daytime. It says um, right here, G-U-A-N-G-H-U-I. I'm not sure if that's the company that made them or what, but then there's um, a number as well on it. There's no name, I mean, there's no color name, I should say. They come nice and pointed. They're really creamy. My only, only problem is there are a few of them on here that aren't very vibrant, and I find some of the ones, like maybe the lighter tans, this one for sure, this little light gray, um, the light pink. If it wasn't very vibrant, it didn't go on as well. It was like, it's scratchy almost. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But the ones that are high uh, vibrancy, they went on smooth, smooth, smooth. Um, I'm not sure what that has to do with, but I just noticed that. Um, let's try to color and blend a little bit. This looks like a purple here. Alrighty. I'm going to get out another tray. Hold on. Well, I already ordered me a, a pencil case for this because that's not going to work. All right, let's do, oh, and I have a few metallics as well. Let's do blue. I mean, they're, they're just come out so pretty. Um, let's try yellow on one. I'm not pressing hard, guys. See how it turned green right away? Try a red. 
see how that does. And then back over here with a different color blue on this uh, red. Let's try it. Making a nice pretty shade of purple. Nice. Um, you can see how vibrant they are. Let's try to find one that was like these light ones. I wish I had a mark which ones didn't. Um, no, that one's a smooth one. As soon as you start writing, you can feel them because it's like a, a scratchy consistency. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, this one. Can you, you can actually hear this one. It's scratchy. It doesn't go on and blend easily like the other ones did. It makes an annoying. And these are just, I don't know. It's just weird. Some of them are a little scratchier, but that's not very many in this group. It's just the ones that are lighter and not as vibrant as these. Um, but all in all, for the number of pencils that you get, for that price, oh my god, I wish I'd have bought two to give away, one to give away. Um, my opinion, it is well worth your money to get these. It is kind of close. Um, I would say it's in the Prisma family because of the texture. <sighs> Nothing's going to beat my Prismas and my Polys that I have seen so far. Um, my budget, I guess. But... For budget friendly, this is amazing. I would have started with these had I not had Prismas. Um, nobody sent this to me. I bought these myself, so this is my honest opinion. These are amazing. I wonder if I should try and color a picture. Again, here we go with the colors. And let me grab this is the last book that I did for a review Let's see where I was well I don't want to start an, um, an old page so let's see how it goes on a new page all right let's just grab a green and start coloring a leaf and let's see how it is. Very smooth. And I'm going to put a darker green on here to blend it and see how it does. Okay, nice. And here's some shiny ones. Every tray has a few shiny ones. Like a shiny purple, shiny pink, metallic, uh, shiny blues, gray. So that's also really cool that you get the shiny ones too. I'm not doing this properly. I'm kind of doing it in a rush, but you get the idea. Normally I would take my time with a picture like this and then I'll take my um, Prisma blender and just blend it a little bit. And then I would normally go back and take my light color and I would go back over that again a little bit and go back and put a little bit more of the green in it. Oh, very pretty. That works out good. Really, really nice. Um, let's see. Let's try this as a metallic. This one is a purple. I 
I, I just can't get over how smooth they are. I thought for sure I was going to be telling y'all that these were terrible. But that's why you don't judge a book by its color. Or a pencil by its price. Can you just go on so easily? You can't, I'm sure you can't see the shine on the camera because I have my window open and everything else, but it is pretty metallic looking from here. Not glitter, just metallic y shiny. I don't even think on the cover it says how many shiny ones there are. see that shine. Oh, that's the light shine. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see a little bit, the purple, how it's all shiny. Nice and smooth. Um, let me go over it with a darker. A little bit of a darker purple. Let's do this one. So, have any of you guys tried this? And if you have, let me know what you think about them um, in the comment section. It'll be interesting to see how other people think about it. I'm all going out the lines. <laughs> Trying to cover up some of the mistakes I made going too fast. But that is so pretty, I can't. I wish I could see it in um in real life. <laughs> this book, by the way, I just did a review on it. It's called A Day on the Farm. And it's a real farm. It's um, Molten. That's M O U L T O N. Molten Farms. They have pictures of the real farm. And these pictures, I'm assuming, were taken from the farm because that's what it looks like. And made into a um, coloring book. Which I think is amazing. I'm not even trying to stay in the lines here, y'all. <laughs> Don't you hate that? I mean, great coverage. Beautiful colors. Really pretty, if you can see it. And look how nice it blended. I'm impressed. I am. And... Okay, let me show you the book real quick. A Day on the Farm, a New Hampshire Coloring Book, Molten Farms by Patty Vidalia. That's what we were coloring in. So you get not one, not two. Put this out of the way. Not three. Nope, not even four. You get five trays of pencils, y'all. Five. Look at them all. And I'm not kidding. I don't know if that $5 coupon thing is going on anymore. But let me tell you, even at the $23.99 price, 
you're getting a deal because these are amazing. Um, I will definitely post a link at the bottom if you guys want to check it out. Um, nobody sent these to me. I purchased these myself. So they're my honest opinion. I was just letting you guys know. Um, this is all me. So if you have any questions about them, let me know. If you need me to do any other blending or whatever, let me know and I'll do another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.